I will show you how to use the paint and ID masks in Quixel Mixer to apply multiple materials to your 3D model and end up with one single texture set. There are other ways like using multiple materials or UDIMs, but we will only look at the workflows where you end up with one single texture set. Let's start in Blender. That's my 3D model of a stool. On the right we have the stool with a UV map where I grouped the geometry and left some space between. On the left I have the same stool, but here I use the complete UV grid. Let's start with the right stool and the paint mask workflow. In that case it is important to combine all the geometry that should have the same texture together in the UV grid and leave some space in between. This could happen quite often if you use a fixed texel density. In my case this is a texel density of 10.24 on a 2K texture. But texel density is completely optional and not important at all for the mask. Go to File on the top left, then Export and select FBX. Then selected objects with the mesh selected and change geometry to face. Once in Quixel Mixer, first create a new mix and give it a name. Then under Setup change the type to Custom Model and select your FBX file. Then under layers you can create a new solid layer. This is a good practice and this will be the base for your texture. Now you can go to your local library or to the online library and find the material you need for your 3D model. Now we don't want to use this material for the whole model, so we right click on the material and create a paint mask. We can now switch on the top right from the 3D view to the 2D view. This is also optional but recommended for precision. On the left side the brush should already be selected. With it we can simply erase the area that should not be affected by the texture. To paint the area back you can use the eraser which is next to the brush. We can see that the wood texture is only visible in the center. I will do the same to apply a rubber texture for the legs of the stool. Right click paint mask and then erase the area. Now only the ladder for the seat is missing. And that was it. Now we could export the texture and work with it. Now let's have a look at another method which is called ID Mests. If you enjoyed the content up to here you can support me by subscribing. If you want to use the complete UV grid, you might need ID masks. But you will have to get the plugin text tools first. Installing a plugin is very easy. Under edit go to preferences, then under add-ons click on install and then drag the plugin zip file into the folder. Finally just activate the checkbox on the plugin. On the right side of your UV editing window you can now click on text tools and select color ID. For the stool I'm just gonna need 3 textures, so I'm gonna write down 3 on the color input. The textures are immediately applied and now you can select the areas which should have a different texture and assign a new color to them by clicking the button under the color. In my case I will split the 3 areas into the textures I already used, so wood, leather and rubber. Next we have to bake the ID map. For this we go to baking and click on the image in the middle. Here you get a lot of options, select material ID. Now you can select the size of your map on the top. I will go for a 2K texture and then click on bake 1X. Now you can go under image and select save as to save the ID map. And that's it, now you just have to export the mesh itself. Once you are in Quixel and have selected the new model, you will notice that the texture sets have changed to from materials. If we would continue to work with this, we would end up with three texture sets. But we don't want that. We only want one texture set. Therefore we go to texture sets and select single. Now we will have only one texture set at the end. Next we import our ID map. 
For this we go to Edit Texture Sets and click on Material ID at the bottom right and select our Material ID map. Now we have three Material IDs at the bottom right to work with. This workflow is extremely simple, just right click on the Material and add a new ID mask. Then you can select the correct ID on the right side and the texture will be applied to it. You can then do the same for the rest of the textures. And that's it with the video. If it helped you, give it a like and subscribe. Bye!